What have I got myself into today? Holy crap. So after all the videos I've done talking about the Atari VCS, if it was ever going to come to fruition, if it was just a big scam, talking about all the crazy things that Atari has done, their cryptocurrency, not paying people, being sued. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely reason to be skeptical with this device. But now people who back the Indiegogo are getting these things in their hands and it's supposed to be launching in select stores in a few months from what I understand. So I believe this set with everything here with both controllers and the system, if you buy it in stores, it's supposed to be about $400 when it becomes available. I think you can pre-order on like Walmart, GameStop. I, I don't freaking know, but I did not back this project. I did not have any intention of ordering these. What happened was, yeah, I do have my hands on these. These belong to me. I don't know how excited I'm going to be after I open them up and test it out, but I did make a trade with somebody local who knows me, gave them a few things that I didn't really care for, that didn't cost me anything, and a little, a little bit of cash on top of it. So it was a really good deal on my end, and, you know, screw it. We got to check this thing out. It's a video computer system, gaming PC streaming. Boom. We got the Onyx edition, the black, and then we got both controllers. So let's, uh, this is kind of heavy here. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let me boost up the uh, visuals here let's uh take a look so there's the packaging i think the packaging looks all right we're gonna open this thing up take a look at everything three pounds approximate weight got the dimensions everything listed there enhance there we go plastic and metal tari custom linux operating system amd ryzen embedded cpu vega 3 graphics if you want to read the rest of that go ahead and freeze frame i'm not going to go through all that stuff but there you go 3.1 USBs. It's the future. The future is now. Transforming how we interact with our TVs just as the original 2600 did decades ago. Wow. So this is like going to be awesome, I think. This ain't no Soldier Boy console right here. So there's, there's that. Oh, the back of the box. Got some gameplay action on here. Look at this. I'm actually, I'm excited to take a look at this, uh, this thing. The, the, the joystick, this thing right here. I'm excited to take a look at that. But these controllers are made by Power Ace. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's you know what, we'll get into that in a second. Let's, let's get these controllers out. So there's the wireless modern controller. These are made by um, Power A, which I don't like the controllers that Power A makes. Typically, I don't like the way the buttons feel, how the controllers are kind of having a hollow feel to them. Um, Hopefully they up their game with this. You know, this is some big business type stuff right here with Atari. And here is the controller. Hold the Atari logo to pair. Okay, that works, bro. And we do have a uh, charging cable. Did they use a USB-C on this thing? No, they they did not. I'm sons of bitches. Um, here's the controller. Doesn't feel horrible. That's that's a that's a huge positive. It doesn't feel horrible. What's up with this D-pad? You know what? I think I kind of like that. Wait, does this come off? Is there like a D-pad under that? That doesn't come off. It's like a D-pad with a disc glued to it. But I actually don't mind that. It doesn't feel too bad. The analog sticks, it, it feels like a Power A controller, which means it feels kind of cheap. This does not feel as good of quality as like a Nintendo Switch Pro controller or an Xbox controller, but it doesn't feel horrible. It does have that Power A feel. Like, does that mean anything to anybody? It has that Power A feel to these buttons where they're, they don't feel great, but they're not horrible. Hopefully they don't stick. The reason I don't like Power A is because I had a bunch of their Nintendo Switch controllers and the buttons would always stick and be funky and they just didn't feel like great controllers so i wound up throwing them away after a while but they were controllers delegated to the children's to use and i would use them occasionally and i was just like i can't stand these man but hey these controllers are made by power a we'll see how they uh perform this doesn't feel bad i don't want to completely rag on it. it doesn't have a premium feel to it it feels like a controller you buy in the bargain section at walmart on clearance for five bucks the packaging is kind of cool there's the uh Classic joystick. Boom, dude. Nice. I, I think the packaging's neat with the uh, 
the brown box with the asteroids and shits on there. Atari VCS. Let's go. How do I, how do I freaking open this thing? Oh, there we go. You got to be smarter than the box, dude. Oi, get out of there. Another another power cable down there. Wish they didn't go with the uh, micro. I, I wish they went with USB-C, but hey, you know. Okay, this has a very hollow feel to it, too. But you know what? I like that. It's got some butt cheeks on the bottom. But it... it, it it does have a hollow, like a very hollow feel to it. A very light hollow feel. Look at the molding. Like their molding sucks, dude. Like look at those those joints. The seam. The seam on the mold. Uh, I, I guess, man, as long as it functions. But you got an action button there. Oh, look at that. We got colors lighting up. That's kind of cool, I guess. Charge port on the back. Okay. Well, that's the control. This this seems kind of cool. Um, but it, it, it's very hollow feeling. Very hollow feeling. But it doesn't... It's not the most horrible quality in the world. We'll have to see how it performs. If it just doesn't perform... I mean, if I can't, like, press the action button and shoot some shit, then, yeah, it sucks. And here's the actual VCS. Zoom back out, bish. All right. Let's, let's get this open. There she is. There she is. Okay. Get out of there. God, I've got a mess here. There's the console. There's the uh, Onyx console with the red background. Now, there's like... <laughs> like I don't know how well you could see this. Let me... Let me zoom up look at the little scuffs along here i've been hearing that's common like this they're just there's scuff action like little marks i mean maybe some plastic polish will get that out i don't know if you see that but those are like little scuff marks on the plastic i've been hearing that's fairly common there's some up here too but it's not as apparent because this is more matte and if you see it up here and then down here it's quite worse focus you son of a but th there we go dude like there's usbs up in the front we got let's cover all that we got some feats on the bottom here ventilation everywhere uh even the front's a little scuffed a little bit the back we got the power ac all our ports hdmi some ventilation back here. What else is in this uh, box? Is there asteroid? Yeah, there was asteroids on the top of that too. So we get power cable, the power brizik, uh, HDMI cable, and it doesn't look like there's any documentation in here. Um, I don't think there was anything in there. The the person I got this from, they said they they powered it on, then they like system reset it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set this up, get this, uh, little bish plugged in, test it out, see what the do, you know, get some, some gaming action going on. So let me go ahead and plug this in and, uh, we'll get on that screen. Let's take a look. So here we go. We got this thing booting up. We got a little asteroids action going on and it stuttered for a second. The hell? Okay. Whatever. We got both controllers already got them uh synced up i think let me see here yes both are connected via bluetooth so we got that one and that one we'll test out both of them but let's go ahead and uh use this one for now connect to my internet no updates all right uh create a new account or like okay i'm gonna create an account real quick select an icon this dude looks awesome. Wizard action. Enter nickname. Okay, so they wanted a lot of information just to set this up. Birth date and everything. They want to make sure you're old enough to care about Atari, I guess. And this is where we're at. Firmware upgrade available for what? I didn't see that notification. What is, what is that shit? How can I... 
Like I see a notification up there, download, but I can't click on it. Whatever. So we have the Atari VC... Man, this looks pretty barren. The Atari VCS vaults on the home screen games. Just that VCS vault. We'll take a look at that in a second. Applications, them appetizers. PC mode or VCS companion. And then store. What do we got in store for us? Okay, so I noticed Chrome just popped up, so I guess it installed that. All right, let's go back to store. I just I just went wired internet. I guess my uh, wireless internet was was not having it. Didn't want to deal with this shit. And stream arcade, but that's subscription service that you could play retro games on. Our ever expanding. Oh, look at these douche knuckles, bad dudes. Uh, how many different uh, ways I have to access bad dudes? But yeah, let's let's download it. But we got to take a look at what's uh, in here. Two twenty. Wait, and stream almost a gig, and we got twenty three point five two gigabytes left. Yeah, let's download it. What else do we got on here? Thrust, thrust. I thought it said Thrustmaster. Thrustlander, fifteen dollars. The shit. Okay, okay. I don't know that I'm gonna pay fifteen dollars for that seizure warning. Nope, don't want no seizures. You got Plex on here, Spear Master. Oh my god, I think the Ouya launched with a hell of a lot more than this. Ten bucks. This looks like a. This looks like it should be on the Amico. What is this shit? Oh, it's kind of like um. It's like uh, uh, what the fuck was that game? Peng. Peng Bros. That's. I would pay $3 for that. No more. Netflix for free. Disney Plus. I mean, you got to pay for it, but you could download the apps. Gun Tech, $25. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? It's taking forever just to get to the screen. Okay, so far. Mad age. So, yeah, that Atari VCS shop, not much going on as of yet, anyway. But I did grab a couple things because the price was right. I grabbed Missile Command Recharged and Unsung Warriors Prologue. They were free. Couldn't beat that. So, I might as well, you know, grab them and check it out. But first, let's go into the Atari VCS vault. I am using the joystick controller as I'd heard that this is actually a dial spinner type action. So, I want to test that out on like Tempest, see how that works. You know what I mean? But here we go. Code Mystics, we got some Atari games here. I mean, can we play Atari 2600 or arcade games anywhere else? They don't put out compilations of this stuff on PC or, you know, PlayStation or anything, do they? Yeah, I mean, is that the biggest selling point we got here is that you could play these games? I don't know. But in this package, we got 2600 games. You got a little list view to select through and then we have arcade stuff. Tempest it is. So let's go ahead and try this out. Well, let me hit the start button. Okay. Okay. That's nice. I actually like that. I think this controller, it, it does feel a little, a little cheap. Uh, and those seams with that plastic, holy crap. It, it doesn't look like a premium product. Would you expect it to? I think these controllers are like 50 bucks. I would. I think it should definitely be a little better quality, but I'm actually surprised. This works really well. It's actually a decent controller. Holy crap. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Some Tempest action up in this bish. But let's go ahead and, um, you know, playing some old ass Atari games going to be pretty awesome for some but you know some people know that we can play this on a $20 computer but you know it's beside the point man look at this flashy ass user interface holy crap let's let's check out missile command i'm going to use the uh this thing is this game exclusive for the vcs missile command recharge somebody let me know down below i i, I don't know is it live die retry okay Wow, look at that font. Let's do it. Aim, fire. Okay, oops. I was firing before I should have. Okay, we got a little neon action going on here. It is kind of cool. It's kind of cool game. 
You know, if you've been waiting for this machine for the past three years, I hope it delivers on all your dreams. Makes all your dreams come true. You know, don't worry about anything I have to say about this thing. You know, just live your life with the Atari VCS in hand, enjoying it every minute of the day, watching Netflix, Disney Plus, playing games like this. Yeah. What? I mean, this game ain't bad. This, this ain't bad. I'm sucking at it though right now, but you know what? It's all right. I mean, was it worth the wait, my friends? Was it worth the wait? I'm honestly, let's go ahead and get out. This egg game's pretty cool, but whatever. Exit the dashboard. I, I'm just, I mean, I wasn't hyped for this thing to begin with. I just took advantage of getting one to check it out. And, you know, is there potential for this thing? I mean, the, the turd my six-year-old took in the toilet has potential to grow legs and create life. So, I mean, anything's possible, dude. I, is this going to have some killer applications and some games for it? Maybe. Maybe. Is it just an overpriced mini PC with the Atari logo on it. I mean, I'm, I'm not a scientist. I'm not like an, you know, an analyst on these kind of things when it comes to technology, but I, I think, yeah, it kind of is just a PC with Atari's name on it. All right. So we might as well play this shit while I give you guys my final thoughts, I suppose. I mean, this game's looking like a pretty decent cell phone game from you know, in 2015 or so, I, I'm not sure. But that, that leads me to, you know, if you were waiting for this thing, what were you waiting for? What what was the, the reason you wanted this? Was it the Atari name alone? I know we've talked about that over and over again, that the Atari of today is not the Atari of 30 years ago. Not even close. But for some people, the nostalgia just, you know, spits on you and you just rub it in and you love it. You know, that's the kind of thing you're into. And I, I understand that to a degree. But what, what do we have on this thing at the moment that sells the system? PC mode, the Atari vault, what, what is it? Because for the price of this thing, I'm not really seeing the value. To me, it's just, why? It's just to put the Atari name on there and hope nostalgia sells. Doesn't seem like this company had much of a plan and that has been proven. Look at those documents from Fergal Mac when he left the company and them not paying the architect of the system. I mean, there's a lot of weird shit that has happened. But, you know, a lot of companies are doing this. And they don't need to compete with, you know, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. They don't need to compete with them. They just need to make their money and be profitable. And is this going to be a profitable thing for them? Who knows? Who knows for sure? We'll have to wait and see how this product evolves, if it evolves. Is it going to be like the Ouya where they just kind of forget about it over time i mean the ouya was kind of neat but then it kind of sucked and that's kind of the vibes i'm getting from this it's kind of neat but then right now it kind of sucks so i'm hoping it gets out of that sucking phase and starts moving on to bigger better things the controllers are just okay the system being scuffed the fuck is kind of redonks and that's not from people messing with it that's just how they ship them and the plastic's just not that great i mean it's a uh, it's not like the cheapest plastic, but there's there's something going on here, man. The imperfections on that, the Power A controllers just being mediocre, a little not mediocre, a little above average. I, I got to correct myself there. But so far, the experience just it's kind of like whatever. Some people will enjoy it, and I'm not I'm not hating on you if you have one of these and you're loving it. Awesome, dude. Awesome. I mean, I could see the uses out of this thing, but I just I really am not getting it. So we may be streaming this another night, you know, kind of taking requests from you guys as to what to check out and digging into this further. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me do with this thing for follow-up videos. And like I said, we will be streaming it soon. So, hey, guys, hope this thing brings all your dreams to reality, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.